why is higher education important towards the achievement of the Agenda 2030 and how can universities actively contribute to it? In this lecture we will argue why university can play a key role in accelerating the sustainable growth, hence demonstrating the strong relationship occurring between higher education and the sustainable development goals. We believe that rethinking the role of universities in society through the lens of sustainability is a unique opportunity. First of all, the topic is not new and several universities are already committed to this topic since decades. Thanks to the work conducted by the numerous sustainable campus networks, a variety of topics and issues related to sustainability have been addressed and discussed in the recent years, but surely the opportunity of whether to redefine the role of universities within the city and in society in general through the theme of sustainability remains a key topic. Hence, why sustainability can be seen as an opportunity to enhance and consolidate the role of university in society? I try to answer this question providing eight arguments that make higher education a key driver to achieve the sustainable development goals in our society. First, universities can combine excellence and sustainability through quality education. University is the place of knowledge and excellence. We cannot ignore the discourse of education for sustainability. Many universities have already made compulsory to achieve credits of sustainability into their curricula regardless of the degree course. The knowledge around sustainability is interdisciplinary and linked to the science of complexity. Unlike other consolidated technological sectors, where research is carried out mainly by large enterprises that have the resources to develop projects, sustainability research is a subject that still requires to be fully explored and shaped. Hence, it requires a holistic approach and a critical domain that remains still the prerogative of universities. The first modality for educating on sustainability are traditional forms of teaching, seminars, lectures and exhibitions. The wide use of digital technologies through dedicated websites, social networks and MOOCs is another powerful way to involve students in the sustainability journey. But we can go beyond university walls. Again, the impact on society can be significant. Education Cascade projects allow disseminating knowledge on sustainability over the local population. For instance, college students can transfer knowledge to students of secondary schools and so on, up to primary schools. Moreover, civic engagement on different social, environmental and energy issues could have a direct bearing on urban management and allow universities to test research outcomes on a larger population sample. Secondly, universities offer a critical mass for the change and enabling the scale-up of many sustainability policies. The process of globalization, combined with the excellence on sustainability research in which many universities are involved today, gives a tremendous opportunities to interact with important institutions. For instance, every year a large group of international universities engaged in the journey towards sustainability meets to discuss the projects undertaken and in progress and draw up future directions towards a sustainable future. As of 2018, the International Sustainable Campus Network, ISCN, is not representing an elite anymore, as it represents more than 90 universities belonging to 30 countries on all continents. If you then sum up the number of students of the universities involved, it reaches more than 1 million people, hence numbers begin to be significant to raise the voice. Moreover, at national level, the newly formed Italian network of sustainable universities is pushing the Italian Conference of Rectors for recognizing the role of higher education on sustainable development and promoting new tools for supporting this pathway. As an example of higher education commitment and impact at local level, all the three public universities in Milan have already initiated sustainability projects. In fact, three Milanese universities involving more than 120,000 students committed to the ISCN Charter. And by joining forces, we have the numbers for scaling up ambitious project enabled strategies which are today difficult to apply in a weak and disaggregated context, such as nutrition programs based on circular economy, slow and sustainable mobility, innovative housing models and so on. Thirdly, students are ready to experience innovation in daily practices. Our campuses are composed of a young population with high level of education and is becoming more and more international. This type of community is the optimal condition to experience innovation. 
Students indeed encourage the university community to test and adopt more sustainable lifestyles and to exploit the potential of new services enabled by IT in daily routines. Moreover, the aim of promoting more and more environmental conscious lifestyle goes hand in hand with the cost savings. Two birds with one stone indeed. Moreover, the emergence of the sharing society concept allows people to find new synergies at the local level and reduce waste of precious natural resources. For instance, at Hong Kong University, the flat roofs of many buildings have been converted to farming gardens, real gardens managed directly by students. It is an effective way to educate for sustainability, making the entire community more aware about the issues of nutrition and care of the land and impact on daily practices of students. Another example is the Velux Lab, a zero energy building at the Politecnico di Milano, resulting from a research collaboration with Velux. It is used as a workspace where our community members can test live what it means to live in such a building, properly use it and at the same time doing research and measuring energy performance in practice. Fourth, Campuses are prototypes for testing the products of research. In fact, universities can be excellent test bed to experience innovation produced by research and then propose new models for a sustainable urban future. How many times do we learn about inventions produced by our researchers that are afterwards exported elsewhere and most of the time leave no trace of where they have been implemented? Why not to encourage experimentation on site tested during operations with final users according to the urban living lab concept. Moreover, universities are often located within the consolidated city and represent the perfect prototype for the urban district of the future. Examples of urban living labs on campus are numerous. For instance, smart garbage bins for small and big volumes developed by Professor Roveta named PIC, Piattaforme per Contenitori Intelligenti, have been tested on campus a few years ago with smart metering of waste volume in order to optimize waste management and the logistics of collection. These systems are now very diffused among urban waste utilities. In the first part of this lesson, we have introduced four facts to argue why higher education is a key driver to achieve SDGs in our society. We will continue with more arguments in the second part.